Well, 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 hello there people. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm working on my W210 E50 AMG. And as you can see here, it's all about the transmission this time around. I have done some previous work to the transmission here. Uh, I replaced the oil and filter, and I also replaced some of the uh, overlap valves inside the valve body and uh, a spring that can break on these 722.6 uh, transmissions. Um, the transmission have worked perfectly since that day. Now it's time to do a second inspection and maintenance session. So I'm replacing the oil once more with a new filter and I'm also gonna replace the shift solenoids inside the transmission and the lockup solenoid. I'm ready to take down the hydraulic unit. So now I'm gonna need both my hands. So next time uh, I turn on the camera, this one will be over there. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, people. <laughs> oh yeah, it's looking great. Uh, that is the thing that I just wa been wanting to do for a long time since I got the car, basically. And uh, this is the parts. Isn't that a lovely view? <laughs> Me sitting here like, uh. <laughs> So anyways, here you have the um, hydraulic unit. Shift solenoids are located there. These two are controlling the system pressure inside the transmission, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not replacing these, they're quite expensive. And to be honest, I do not have any faults to the transmission at the moment, so I couldn't justify spending more money uh, doing transmission work. These I got pretty cheap. They are genuine parts. Over here, you have the lockup solenoid, which is the one that I initially wanted to replace. But um, I decided to also go with the shift solenoids when I first took it down once more. Um, you need three of these shift solenoids and you need one of these which is the lockup solenoid I hope you can see that parts number so um, let me continue here let me switch around the camera so we're back people with the uh, camera the correct way <laughs> so now we can have a little overview of what the solenoids are here you can see the second to third shift solenoid. That is this one. And this is the lockup solenoid. And this one is the third to fourth shift solenoid. And the one on the side is first to second and fourth to fifth shift solenoid. So these shift solenoids and the lockup solenoid is the ones that I'm replacing. One more thing, I'm gonna soak them in oil. I do not want to mount them dry. Also, it's kind of interesting to see that the design of them are different. These are the new ones, and these are the old ones. These are the correct ones for the shift solenoid function. There you can see the air is coming out. I think that is a good thing to do. Maybe not necessary, but... So, the tightening torques on these solenoids is eight newton meters. Remember to locate this plastic in the correct position. There's a shift pin that needs to go inside this plastic tab here. Eight newton meters on all the Torx bolts holding the hydraulic unit to the transmission. Just a little tip. Make sure you have tightened all the bolts. Just do a double check and a triple check of all the bolts before you decide to <laughs> proceed. Just doing a last inspection before putting up the oil pan looks good let's crack it on 
tightening torques on these is eight newton meters. Uh, a little tip here also is to, before you tighten them, you just tighten them snug and then you wiggle the oil pan back and forth so it seats like perfectly before you do the cross pattern with these uh, bolts here, uh, which is uh, very important to do. Also, I've uh, kept track of how much oil I took off and it's exactly eight liters. And this is my oil of choice. 236.10 that is the correct spec for the 7226 so I have enough oil here to do a proper oil change uh, I need at least eight liters and I have four plus this good stuff so now I have filled five liters and I'm gonna start the engine and go through the gears So this is the seventh liter. <laughs> yeah, I should. Um, I think I should go through the gears a bit more now. So it's done. We filled the last, the eight. That is what is needed to at least put it on the ground and just see if my new valves are working. It would be so typical. If stuff starting to screw up now, then I'm not gonna do any more preventive maintenance ever. See? It's ready. No drips. Works fine. Oh, by the way, fast forward. Look. My car. <laughs> I'm gonna connect the uh, diagnostic tool now and get a reading of the temperature. Yeah. So the transmission is at pin 10. That is that one. That is 10. So let's connect it and see. Airbox. Look, people. No faults. <laughs> so we're going to uh, actual values. Gear oil temp. Take my computer with me. Take you with me. <laughs> Hold on. And then we put it in drive. And we see what the. Yeah, so 31. Then I can measure the first step, like the 25 degree starting point. So that people is spot on. It's just above 25. And you can see. You can see yourself that it was at 31 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. I leave it there for today. Ooh, voila. Hello, Mr. M119. <laughs> so, people, it's the day after, and I'm doing the final oil level check at the correct temperature which is 80 degrees so I'm just trying to get the oil temp up it takes quite a lot to get the temperature up to 80 oh yeah <laughs> So let us check the level, put in the neutral, just at 80, so I can actually fill it a bit, just a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, yeah, so rechecking, oh yes, 81, do this, that down there, dry off the dipstick, Insert it down like that. Between those two markings there, so this is good. Great success. Woohoo! Oh yeah. So yeah. 
That rounds it up. That is how we measure the oil level. <laughs> On a 7226 automatic transmission. So, people, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, well, if you do have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, please subscribe, like, and uh, see you guys later. Bye bye bye. See ya.